Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Finding Genius podcast, now part of the Finding Genius Foundation. I have uh, a returning guest, Dr. Bill McGraw. I've spoken to Bill about uh, mercury toxicity, a bit about um, GMO, you know, salmon in particular, about various issues, uh, rife machines that help with uh, various conditions such as cancer, etc. Today, we wanted to return to uh, aquaculture issues. It seems like there's a lot of uh, dynamics and change around that uh, subject. So, Bill, thanks for coming back. How are you doing? Thanks, Richard. Thanks for having me back again. I'm doing great. Yeah, one quick question. What's the difference between aquaponics and aquaculture? Because you mentioned both, and I don't know the difference. Right. So aquaponics is the combination of fish, generally fish, and plants in a single system, whereas the fish produce uh, not waste nitrogen and phosphorus, and the plants absorb the waste nitrogen and phosphorus. So it's a very complementary uh, system where, one, the, the plants clean the water and, and provide good water quality, and uh, the fish are fed and uh, produce nitrogen and phosphorus that the plants absorb. So it's a closed system that uh, basically produces a lot of plants for sale, and that's about 80% of your total revenue, and the rest is the fish that you grow. So it has uh, two different outputs, and it's very successful successful right now being used all over the world. And aquaponics is more limited. It's just growing plants in water, essentially? Basically, it's limited to freshwater fish is mostly what's used. And the plants are all different kinds of plants. A lot of it's lettuce, some of it's basil. You can grow tomatoes, a variety of different uh, type of plants, uh, depending on the temperature where you live in and the available sunlight. Well, that's interesting. So I, I, I didn't realize 